With flu so widespread right now, we wanted to know, can wearing that mask stop the spread of the flu? And do antibacterial products really help with a virus like the flu? So we set out to answer these and more common flu questions. Channel 6 uh, news reporter Curtis Quillen is in the fancy schmancy Verify Center tonight. Curtis. To start off, how long is someone contagious? Well, Doug Leslie, according to a doctor we spoke with today, flu patients are contagious for the first five to seven days. And with patients commonly wearing masks, we wanted to know if they really work. So we set out tonight to verify. <coughs> While the flu in Central Texas isn't getting worse, it's also not getting any better. And with several questions out there about the flu, we set out to answer them. First, does the flu shot make symptoms less severe? We spoke to Dr. Joshua Parker at Express ER in Waco to find out. It usually takes about five to seven days to build up the immunity that the vaccine um, is creating. So if you get the flu during that time period, your symptoms will, will can be lessened than had you not gotten the vaccine at all. But after that time frame, Parker says you shouldn't get infected. If that happens, he says you probably got a strain of the flu not covered by the vaccine. Next, can you be immune to the flu? According to a small study done on that specific question, we can verify that is false. Every single patient shows some reaction. Now that, might, that reaction might be as, as small as they had an increase in the amount of white blood cells that are responsible for fighting that virus. What if you already have it? The quote, mom's cure has always been chicken noodle soup, but does it work to lessen symptoms? The reason it's so good is because it's, it's salt and water, which are very hydrating. Usually when someone is sick, they don't eat or drink as much. And while chicken noodle soup can help rehydrate and quote, take the edge off of symptoms, they don't alleviate any symptoms. But what about masks? Can they help? As Dr. Parker tells us, they can, especially when you combine them with antibacterial products like hand sanitizer and hand washing. Wearing a mask and keeping your hands clean can reduce it, the, the rate of transmission by as much as 75%. It's, a, it's very, very effective because the flu is, is spread um, by respiratory droplets. Now, Parker says flu season typically runs through late February or early March, but the CDC isn't anticipating it going longer this year. Do you have something you want us to verify? Send us an email. Doug, Leslie. All right, Curtis, thank you very much. Now to the latest.